cool. Hey, welcome to Make Anything. I'm Devin, and here in California, it has been a hot, toasty week. 108 downtown, 109 as we head to Fullerton, 109 in Riverside. So really, triple digits still hanging out. This time of night, it's gonna be a warm night. So I've just been sweating and slopping around, trying to get work done. And I know you guys are really eager to hear the winners of the My Mini Factory puzzle competition. So I managed to put a shirt on and get behind the camera today just to make that announcement. First of all, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who participated in this competition. You guys made it super successful. There were over 230 entries, so you know it was a very contentious battle. So many deserving entries, but I can only pick one person to win the Dremel 3D45 printer. As I was sifting through these entries, I found designs that were just beautiful, others that were really well engineered, and there were so many different variables for me to consider. But personally, what I really wanted to see were puzzles that were original and clever, as well as something that was designed to be 3D printed quite well. So those were kind of the main considerations for me. Before I go ahead and announce the grand prize winner, I wanted to share just a couple other puzzles that were also just really cool and worth noting. Um, there were so many actually, I couldn't print all of them, but I've got four puzzles and one of those is the winner. So let's start with the runners up. So the first puzzle we have here is actually just a good old fashioned jigsaw puzzle, but the way it was designed is so beautiful that I just had to share it with you guys. This entry comes from Timur Gimrinov, and Timur actually sent us several different puzzles, all based on Russian art and architecture, and they're all equally beautiful, so I would definitely check them out. They are simple puzzles, but the execution is just something that's worth noting. I mean, I could really see these things being pasted onto a board and hung up on the wall like art, and that's something that I wanted to recognize. I printed this on the Ender 3 using Filamentum's Ice Green CPE material, and while CPE can be tough to print with, it's pretty stringy and brittle, I just used it because of the color, and I think it worked really well for this design. The next puzzle I wanted to share is this little lock puzzle by Anders Severison. And this is just a really clever puzzle. This is what I was talking about when I was looking for just original and clever puzzles. Because there are a few lock puzzles like this, but nothing quite like this one. And the idea is that you've got all these little pieces inside of the combination lock, and you're trying to unlock the main lock here. You're trying to get this out, but you gotta get these little pieces out of the way. And the idea is that you use this tiny key to move the pieces, like so, and just try to figure out how you can rearrange them and unlock this lock. Very cool puzzle, but there were a few problems I had with execution. Moving the pieces around can be a bit tricky. I wasn't sure if I'm allowed to do certain things, like if I could just push the block through here, even though there's technically not a slot, or some of these pieces can actually rotate. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that. So that could have been a bit more clear, but still, it's a super cool puzzle. I really like how that turned out, and. It's pretty fun that it's a lock and a key, but the way you unlock it is just by moving all the pieces around. Very cool. By the way, this was printed on that Dremel 3D45 printer, which is the prize for this competition. And it printed really great. It's really handy to have that removable glass build plate. And as you can see, this yellow Pro PLA from Matter Hackers printed really well on the Dremel printer. Here's the final runner-up puzzle that I wanted to share. And this one is submitted by Galil Ovadia. And it's just a really interesting gear puzzle. So you've got these gears that have semi-circles that are cut up on top, and those prevent you from turning the gears all the way around. But the idea is that you have to figure out a way to get all nine gears onto these nine pegs. And the trick is that you can only put one piece at a time. These lines have to be aligned with the grid, and between each turn, you can rotate the pieces as long as they don't lock up, and as long as they stay aligned with that grid. And you can do that, and you just have to keep adding things, but it gets really tricky. And honestly, I haven't even been able to solve it yet, but just the mechanism of it and the idea behind it is so cool, really clever that I really wanted to share it with you guys. And 
I've been kind of obsessing over this one. I'm gonna have to keep playing around with it until I actually figure out the solution. I printed this puzzle on the Dremel 3D45 as well. And even though this design did require support material, the supports came off really easily and we were left with a clean model. Everything fit together really well and rotated freely. So that was good to see. So there you already have three amazing puzzles out of these 230 plus entries. But like I said, I can only choose one winner of the Dremel 3D45 printer for this My Mini Factory puzzle competition. So that grand prize honor goes to Chad Tarbutton. Chad made this really cool twist puzzle. And this is just something that I've never seen before. I think it's really well suited for 3D printing. It's clever, it's original, it's all those things I was looking for. So congratulations, Chad. And let me show you guys what this puzzle does. The idea of this puzzle is to get this little dude from the center out through the exit of the maze by following these paths. But the trick is that the paths rotate and they can only rotate a certain amount. So you actually have to weave through these mazes and you end up having to go back and forth until you can find an exit and this is just a really well done puzzle and it's also really well made for 3D printing. I printed the puzzle on my TiVo Tornado as well as my CR10S printers and all the pieces print separately without any support material and then you assemble it following the instructions on the My Mini Factory page. So first we'll put the player into place in the center and start adding the concentric rings making sure the slots at the bottom line up with the notches on the board. So we'll put one after the other and every larger ring holds the smaller pieces into place until the final ring screws into place and holds everything down so you're left with a model that is completely connected and won't fall apart on you. So that's why I really appreciated the design here. The way everything fits together was really well thought out and made for a pleasant game. Once assembled correctly, all of these rings will be able to rotate a certain amount except for that outer one and then there's nothing left to do but solve the puzzle. And I'll be honest, this wasn't the most challenging puzzle. I was able to solve it in a few minutes, but I really just appreciate the whole mechanism and idea behind it so much, as well as the fact that these rings could potentially be swapped out to give you more puzzles and more replayability. Now, I'm always one to be a little bit critical, even when a design is really great. So there are a few things here that could make this model a bit more easy to print. Uh, the threaded outer ring can be tough. You need a really good printer to have the correct tolerances to actually screw this in so that the exit aligns the way it's supposed to. So for that, instead of having the full thing be a thread, I would probably recommend having just a notch that you just do a little partial twist to lock it into place. And uh, that might be a bit easier. I did try to print this first on a separate printer, the FL Sun QQ, and it turned out that printer wasn't printing perfect circles. So the rings couldn't slide around each other like they were supposed to. So you do need an accurate printer to pull this off, but when you do pull it off, you've got a really fun puzzle. I just think it's so cool. And that's why I chose this as the winner for this competition. So there you have it. Thanks Chad Tarbutton for making this amazing design. It came out great. I love it. And you just won yourself a Dremel 3D45 printer. Once again, I wanna thank every single person who submitted a model for this competition. Even if you didn't win your models there on My Mini Factory for everyone to download now, they can print it out, they can play it and enjoy it. And that's awesome. That's a great contribution to the 3D printing community. So you are all very much thanked. And if you didn't win, there is still a chance for you to get a little prize. My Mini Factory is actually having a second little mini competition. So the idea behind this next competition is that any of you can print out your favorite puzzle, solve it, take a picture, and submit it to the object page on My Mini Factory and share it on social media. One of those submissions will win a full spool of Dremel filament, so that's a nice little prize, and it's your way of supporting your favorite puzzle. That competition will only last for a week, so go ahead and get started. I'll put more information in the description for this video, as well as links to this puzzle, the puzzles I showed you today, and all the rest of the submissions to the competition. You guys should really check it out. There's so many cool entries. And if you find one that I didn't mention today that you think deserves some recognition, you should also let me know in the comments and maybe share it with other people. 
All right, guys, that wraps up this puzzle competition. It was so much fun for me. I hope you guys enjoyed designing puzzles and learning how to model with this competition. Let me know if you wanna see more competitions between me and my mini factory. Maybe if you have some ideas, go ahead, share them with us. But that's it for now. So until next time, I'm Devin. This is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired. <laughs>